Now I answer the question, how to discover our spiritual gifts. I want to say this. First, and most important, is to build up the relationship with God. And then the spiritual gifts will come. The reason is, relationship with God is more important than spiritual gifts. Because when you have a loving relationship with God, and you enjoy God, and you're strengthened by God, then you have then the spiritual gifts will come. So the first thing is to build up on a relationship with God and trust in God's love. Now many people's concept of building a relationship with God is by the law. I have to obey. I have to trust in God. I have to read the Bible. I have to pray. Now this is true. But if it's I have to, I have to, I have to. Actually I don't like to use the word have to. Usually I tell people, God has all these blessings when you, instead of saying you have to, when you trust in God, when you have a good relationship with God, when you believe in God, all these blessings will come to you. So I use the word when. It's God who has all these blessings. So when we build the relationship by the grace of God, it's like this. I know God is loving me. Anytime I repent of my sins, God is happy. Anytime I obey Him, He's happy. Anytime I pray to Him, He's happy. Anytime I serve Him, He's happy. That way we feel less pressure. With pressure, the person is not free. When the person is not free, his spiritual gifts will not come out. When it's under pressure, I have to serve, I have to do this, I have to do this, I have to build the church. Then it's, the person is restrained and don't have much strength. And, and then uh, very often it can limit his growth in the Lord. So first is to have the, a strong relationship with the Lord. And then, and, then as, uh, and then when we have this close relationship with the Lord, actually each person has a natural tendency. Many gifts come from these natural tendencies because God created us all different. For instance, some people have a tendency to care about people. So, their spiritual gifts probably is related to people. Some people have a natural tendency to analyze and to teach. So his gifts is probably in the teaching area. Some people have a natural tendency to praise God. So his gifts are probably related to that. So whatever his natural tendency, what he naturally want to do, are probably areas where he can have the spiritual gifts. And what he can do is to try to do the ministry, how to serve God, by what he can do in front of him. To help the people around him, help the Christians around him, help the church where he is. So when, when they help the people around them, then they have a chance to test themselves, to see whether they can do well. And they find that they can do well. Oh, excuse me. The picture fooled me too. For sure, not just that. Sorry. So um, that when we do ministry and want to bless people, want to bless people, then we'll find out which area we can do better. And then this area we can develop. We can be trained and build up the spiritual gift in that area. And we need to learn. We need to use our mind too, not just the spirit, because. Many people just like to praise God. Hallelujah, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. They just want to praise God. And they don't like to use the mind. We need, because the whole person has the mind too. Because the mind will guide us to think and to analyze and how to do it better. So with the mind and with the spirit, we need the spiritual life. And also we need suggestion from other people. What do they think? from the pastors, from the leaders, what do they think? So this will discover, and then when we start to serve, for instance, someone share in front of people, if they have the gifts of sharing and speaking, they can ask the pastors and other people, how did I do when I'm sharing? How can I do better? Then we can improve, then we can work on it. So first, as I said, the spiritual gift, we have the natural tendency. And then we try to do something, and then if it uh, works out better, that means we have spiritual gift in this area. And then we work on improving it and learning more so that we can do better. So these are ways how we can build up spiritual gifts. And also, 
we can have wisdom to develop the spiritual gifts. Let me use some ex illustration. As I said, I only learned to play the keyboard and piano for less than a year. But I worked very hard. I, I watched the video of my teachers, how they play, and I learned it. After I learned it, and then sometimes when I'm playing, I notice I can do something better. And I said, what, why, why did I do something better? When I play this song so smoothly, why is it that I can do better? So I analyze, and then I try to do that again and again to improve it. For instance, speaking. You know, I can also talk about preaching and speaking too. You notice my voice is very clear. And also, I have words of emphasis, how I emphasize certain words. You notice that? When I come to certain important words that I would emphasize it, I don't have the same tone for my whole message. If you notice some people preach, they have the same tone. Every sentence is the same. God loves you. Obey God. Pray to God. Serve God. It's all the same tone. But you notice when I talk, I have softer tone, and yet I have strength. Now all this came from training. I've been trained in voice, and I have worked hard for years in order to have a voice that is clear and is powerful, not only for speaking, also for singing too. I've been trained in this, but I work on it, how to improve. And my public speaking too, I learn from different people, I observe them, how they speak. And then I learn from them. There are many things to learn. So this is one area I will, I will talk about, about preaching and sharing, how to do it better. So these are ways we need to use wisdom and observe people and learn from people and get opinion from people and be willing to open up to suggestions. For instance, my wife gave me a lot of suggestions. She's very supportive. But sometimes she told me, there was something I missed. When I, sometimes when I listen to people, I missed something. Or when I teach, I missed something. She would tell me. And then, now many people, many pastors, when the wife tell them, you can do better, and the pastor will get angry. Many people like me, many people follow me, just you. My wife don't follow me, don't like me. Then they're not listening to the wife. The wife loves the husband, therefore gives suggestion. But many pastors cannot accept the opinions from the wife. They think that the wife is always against them. So what happened is this will block the blessings of God. So whenever my wife gives me a suggestion, I would tell her, I thank you for giving me the suggestion. I'll work on it, I'll think about it. It doesn't mean every time I accept her opinion because there are some, some ways I, I, uh, I think that it's God's way that I should do it. Some of her suggestions came from her personality, but many of her suggestions were very good and I accept those. So I hope that this humility and the uh, eagerness to learn and improve will help us in our uh, building the spiritual gifts. And I thank God I have spiritual gifts in many areas except prophecy. <laughs> but I don't complain to God about it. I learn not to complain. I just thank God for all this and I want to make the best use of it and I learn not to be proud also. Because if we are proud, we will destroy the gifts. So have I answered the question about the spiritual gifts? Yeah. And we all can be built up. We all can be built up. Actually, when you observe me teaching and training, notice my voice and my body, my expression on my face, and how I use illustration. All this you can learn from it. And I hope you can all improve in the spiritual gifts. And, and then there are some people who have special gifts, and you observe these people how they have these gifts, and how they build up the gifts, and how you can have the gifts also. But not everyone has the same gift. Not everyone has prophecy. But we're all here from God, but we're all here in different ways.